Disney Plus finally released their long-awaited series WandaVision and it is as weird, confusing and goofy as everyone had expected. We are just two episodes in and fans are already confused with the ending of episode 2. Who was the guy in the bee suit? Why was he there? Did Wanda already know him? We still quite don't know the motives of the guy because we just saw him for a couple of seconds. Although it was clearly hinted that Wanda knew him somehow or at least was aware of his intentions. That's why she said no. Then goes on to rewind time and change events so that the guy does not even show up. But who was that? From the few seconds of screen time he had, there is only one thing we can extract from the scene and that's the symbol on his back. The same sword symbol was also present on the colored helicopter toy that Wanda found in her garden. But what is this symbol? In Marvel Comics, there is an organization named SWORD, which is basically extraterrestrial version of SHIELD. The SWORD symbol seems to be a direct link to the organization SWORD in the comics. The SWORD symbol looking almost exactly like an older version of the symbol also adds to this theory. We already got the easter egg of SWORD in end credits of Spider-Man Far From Home when we saw Nick Fury in the space possibly setting up a space version of SHIELD. There was also a set image leak essentially confirming the existence of SWORD in WandaVision with its logo and even the full form of the acronym, which was Sentient Weapon Observation Response Division. It is an altered version of the SWORD acronym in comics which was Sentient World Observation Response Division. It is almost confirmed that the B-suit Kai is from the SWORD given all the hints. But why was he there? From the looks of it, it is clearly implied that he was there to stop Wanda from doing whatever she is doing. Until now, it is looking like Wanda has created this pocket reality where she is living her dream life with vision that she couldn't have in reality. And this SWAT guy is there to pull her out of it but Wanda does not want that to happen because she's happy there with vision. But there is also a possibility that someone has captured Wanda and is using her for some malicious purpose while keeping her in an ideal dream state and the SWAT guy is there to rescue Wanda. But Wanda stops him because she does not know that it's a fake dream and for her everything is going good and she does not want it to end. Whatever it may be, we will have to see the bee guy's intentions in the future episodes. So this was our breakdown of WandaVision episode 2 ending. If you like the video, then like it. If you dislike the video, then dislike it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.